If you have ever dealt with chronic sinus issues, you know that it affects every aspect of your life. Whether that be from allergies or a tendency towards sinus infection, you know that it affects you so much. Actually, Harvard researchers sensed this and they decided to compare those with chronic sinusitis, with heart failure disease, chronic pulmonary obstructive disease, as well as chronic back pain. And they found that folks dealing with chronic sinus issues actually reported higher levels of pain and more of an impact on their social lives, as well as significant issues with energy and mental health. So this is important and it's pretty interesting that a yoga technique, the neti pot, that was developed by yogis to breathe better is now being investigated by researchers and recommended by allergists, ear, nose, and throat doctors, and doctors in general. My name is Ann Swanson. I'm a yoga therapist. Make sure you click subscribe below for more videos like this, and feel free to comment if you have any questions along the way. First, a little background, a little bit of anatomy. Did you know that you have basically a billiard ball worth of space right here? Imagine that, space in your skull that makes it lighter, helps your voice resonate, and helps you breathe better. However, when that is stuffed up, those sinus cavities are stuffed up and inflamed, you are not breathing better. And that's what the neti pod or the sinus rinse is addressing. But let's first talk about some safety precautions so that you can do it right. The FDA says that using a neti pod is overall safe when done properly. What I'd like you to do is first choose the right pot or sinus rinse device. So I use what my allergist recommends, the Neomed Sinus Rinse. I have a box right here, a new box. So I'm just gonna open it and show you what it comes with. It comes with this bottle that is really important to replace every three months. Also very important that only one person uses it. It's not to share. It also comes with these salt packets. These are a very specific type of salt. You can't just use the salt that you have in your kitchen and you don't wanna use anything other than what comes with it. Now, I really like this over a neti pot. Number one, because my doctor recommended it. And number two, the traditional yoga neti pot causes you to lean over like this, which can trap the water and it can even go into your ear cavities. This method is much safer in that regard. Plus it's a much more pleasant experience. I do recommend that if you're unsure, if you're immunocompromised, or if you're looking into this for a child, that you ask your doctor first if it's right for you, as well as the specific recommendations for you. Now, most importantly, you want to make sure you use the right water. You don't wanna just use tap water or water in the shower. You really need to use distilled water. That's what I'll be using today. That's, or you can also take tap water and boil it for at least five minutes. This is important because there are amoeba in your tap water that your stomach can handle. When you drink it, your stomach has acids that can fight the amoeba, but your nasal cavities don't. These are the types of water that are recommended. I just use distilled water. Step one is to wash your hands. Step two is to warm the water. If you're using distilled water, you can just warm it on the stove or in the microwave. I like to rinse the bottle with some of the distilled water and just make sure that it's all clean. Now you can pour the water into the neti pot. I'm trying not to spill too much. And fill it up to the line. And then you take the salt packet that comes with it. 
And then you're going to close the pot with your clean hands, shake it a little bit and get the salt dissolved. You wanna make sure that the water is not scalding hot and it's safe. So you can just test it on your hand and make sure it's just warm, about body temperature. And then we're gonna go ahead and start. You can do either nostril. I'm gonna to try to do about half of the bottle or whatever you can tolerate per nostril. So you're gonna lean over, bring it up one nostril and make sure that your mouth breathing. So you don't wanna hold your breath during this. And then you can partially cover the nostril and blow gently. I'm not fully covering it and blowing as hard as I can to be safe for my inner ears. All right, so that was about a third of the bottle. So now I'll switch to the other side. So you could take a tissue, blow your nose, lean forward, blow your nose. And at some point you may actually feel some of it go down your throat. That's totally okay. Everything is connected. That's just it going into your nasopharyngeal area and you'll feel it going down your throat and you can just spit it out if that's the case. Now, as far as how much and how often, that's still debated. My allergist told me to do it quite often, actually a whole bottle per nostril, sometimes even two bottles per nostril. And she told me to do it daily or even twice a day, but that's quite a bit. I mean, even if you did it once a week to get started, that could make a huge difference as far as helping you prevent sinus infection and improving your airways. You could do it daily. Those sort of things are things that I would recommend talking to your medical professional team to see what's right for you, as well as some trial and error and feeling what's right for you. Have you used a neti pot or a sinus rinse before? Comment below and if you have any questions, feel free to ask and make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much and be well.